A lot of environmental artists may think about their work through the lens of talking about climate change. I think about the environment and the landscape as a way of really talking about politics and pressing social issues. Two things that particularly inspired me when I arrived were quite obviously the red clay soil and then just the overwhelming amount of development. That's been a big part of my experience, you know, like the red soil, the presence of the church, and then this economic development and what that means. I came across this 1937 map that clearly showed redlining in Charlotte. Now we would very openly call it a racist practice to keep African Americans from purchasing homes in certain neighborhoods of major cities. And the big project would be to plant a crimson clover red line through the city. So to redraw a red line in Charlotte through environmental means. It's a way of understanding the geography of a city now and where the urban poor is displaced from a city center.